September 10 True Humility 1 Samuel chapter 18 verses 22 to 23 And Saul commanded his servants communicate with David secretly and say look the king has delight in you and all his servants love you now therefore become the king's son-in-law so Saul's servants spoke those words in the hearing of David and David said does it seem to you a light thing to be a king's son-in-law, seeing I am a poor and lightly esteemed man? Sammy Morris was a devoted Christian from Africa who came to America to go to college. Although his pathway to service for Christ was not easy, his difficulties never deterred him. Perhaps this was because he had learned genuine humility. When Sammy arrived at a Christian college in the United States, the school's president asked him what room he wanted. The African believer replied, If there is a room nobody wants, give it to me. How many other Christians would show such a humble spirit? David felt this way about his relationship to King Saul. Saul had promised him his daughter Merab, but the king went back on his commitment and gave her to Adriel the Meholathite. 1 Samuel chapter 18 verses 7 to 9. Yet, instead of becoming angry, David professed his unworthiness to be the son-in-law of the king. Then he was promised Michal, another of Saul's daughters, and the king's servants urged him to accept this offer. But again, David did not manipulate circumstances for his own gain. He humbly questioned his sustainability to join the king's family. David refused to promote himself by marrying the king's daughter. He was content to let God honor him if he so chose. Christians sometimes view their relationship with a person or an organization as an opportunity for their own advancement. They look for ways to turn their circumstances to their advantage. To them, people are stepping stones to personal glory. This leads to pride and pride leads to destruction. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 18 Take care that you do not use others for your own advancement. Be willing to wait and let God provide success in His time and His way. You'll be glad you did. Pride drives us to advance ourselves. Humility bids us to wait. Amen.